I V M. Hello, I'm Shifa Maitra, and welcome to Smile India, the podcast that gets you delightful news from all across the nation. Let's begin with a story that shows us that dreams do come true when you refuse to give up. Ranjit Ramachandran comes from very humble beginnings, and to fund his college education in his hometown Kasaragod, he had to find a job. With classes in the day, the only thing that was possible was being a night watchman. He did this job diligently, and his father, a tailor, and his mother, a daily wage worker, were happy for him. But Ranjit had dreams. After he did well in college, he applied for his PhD and got selected at IIT Madras. He did get a scholarship, but was having problems in English since he'd studied in Malayalam, his mother tongue. Luckily, his guide took him under his wing and helped him gain confidence. There were financial difficulties even here, but Ranjit knew the value of education and kept at it. His determination paid off, and today he is an assistant professor at IIM Ranchi. When he shared his story online, showing the hut he grew up in, so many youngsters reached out to him, saying, "Now we feel like we can do it too." Ranjit is a role model who totally deserves the success he has earned. Next up, we have this delightful grandma from Chennai, who's giving all of us serious fitness goals. At 83, Kiran Ben is the weightlifter in a sari who became a social media sensation once her grandson started sharing her videos online. As a child in her village, Kiran used to love kho kho and kabaddi, but then life happened. Keeping home and raising a family kept her busy and happy. Then in 2020, she had a fall and was bedridden for three months. She totally hated it. She got depressed because she needed help for the smallest thing and felt like her life had no meaning. Chirag, her grandson, is a gym trainer who came to her rescue. He motivated her and helped her try moving slowly on her own. She did well, so he began training her. His grandmother was smiling, so soon he built a gym for her at home. He trained her with weights. She began tentatively, but was soon loving it. Weight training made her feel fearless and active, taking her back to her childhood. Kiran Ben spent her 83rd birthday lifting 25 kgs. She does weightlifting three times a week and works out every day. Now she can do all her day-to-day activities with ease. And fear has flown out of the window. Get off the couch, dear listeners. Now let's go to the east, to Bhubaneswar in Odisha. Here is where Polly Patnaik lives. She disliked two things about school while growing up: one that bright students got better treatment from teachers, and two that it began way too early in the morning. Today, she has a chain of schools where both these problems don't exist. Polly always wanted to build her dream school. And that was the first thing she told her prospective groom. He appreciated the thought, and they got married. She became a school teacher, brought up her own children, became a college professor, and still held on to her dream. As her own kid grew up, she used thirty thousand from her savings, and with five teachers began Mother's Public School, which begins at nine a.m. Her belief is that a teacher's role is to guide children and not demoralize them or ignore them. And that's something she stays firm on. She also keeps the fee low so that children from all economic strata can benefit. Gradually, the school became popular. The government allotted her land, and Polly's dream came true. Today, she has close to two and a half thousand students and a hundred and fifty teachers. She ensures that all students get equal attention, irrespective of their performance, so that school is a fun space for everybody. When the school got CBSC affiliation, she took loans to improve the infrastructure, opened a branch in Puri, and now pays over one crore in salaries. This lady is truly amazing. Before signing off, I must tell you about this news from Mangalore that's truly heartwarming. Young Kavana was to get married, but when her mother got bedridden due to an ailment, they were not sure if the wedding could happen. She'd lost her father. Her sister was married and had found the groom, but beyond that, she could not help. Aunts and uncles suggested the wedding be called off, as most of them were jobless due to the pandemic. It was a good match, and the mother was hoping that things would get normal, and relatives would be able to chip in. But now it seemed impossible. One day, Sudesh, a cousin, came over with his friend Abdul Razak, owner of the popular Bina Bakery. On the way back, Razak casually asked Sudesh a few questions and got to know the situation. He felt awful and went home and discussed it with his family. 
They'd been helping a few people in the neighborhood, but this was different. His mother-in-law said, let's help them. A daughter's wedding should not be called off. So soon the women of Razak's home went to Kavana's place with jewelry and gifts for the wedding. The men folk got bookings done and caterers were hired. Kavana had a wonderful wedding. And that's how a Muslim family spent a couple of lakhs to get an unknown Hindu girl married like her own family would. If this isn't the soul of India, what is? That's it for today and I'll be back next week with more delightful news from India. Till then, stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. For more interesting information on our country, please like and follow Good News Indians on Facebook. To hear more engaging podcasts, download the IVM app, go to the IVM website or look for us wherever you get podcasts from. To stay in touch with me, you could look up Shifa Maitra on Twitter and Instagram. Since you heard and liked Smile India in English, you could check out our Hindi version too and recommend it to people who prefer podcasts in Hindi. Hey, it's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On Naan Curry, Sadaf and Arches stir up a hot pot of stories exploring the age-old breakfast of old Delhi Nehari. This is a must-check out from the number one food podcast in India. We'd like to welcome Audio Gyan to the network. It's an old show about design. We want to kick off this season with Jay Datta, design head at Make My Trip and Go Ivy Bo. He's also the founder of Design Up. Positively Unlimited gets a makeover. Check out the revamped show Say No to Drama with Chetna and learn how to avoid drama in your life. Home is where the heart is. Marathi Kid Kitun helps us understand more about homes. Our Smarter with Sid, Siddharth asks the pertinent question, is jealousy good for you? And on the Musafir stories, get introduced to the headhunters of Nagaland. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any other show for that matter, please do tell a friend. Word of mouth is the best way to spread the word about a podcast you love. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week. See it, Cred, Global Victoria, Bank of Baroda, Intuit India, and Coinswitch Kuber. Come learn and experience the ABCDs of being queer with me, Shunetro. And me, Farhad. On our show, Gay BCD. The two of us take you through our stories and experiences of being gay men in the city of Mumbai and have candid and sometimes downright scandalous conversations about sexuality, gay culture and everything in between. Catch new episodes of Gay BCD every Tuesday on the IBM Podcast website, app, or wherever you get all your podcasts from.